From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Hello everyone, welcome to Local Point, sponsored by Ashley Regional Medical Center. I'm David Gale, and for Chris Piner today. Dr. Bill Wright and Jeff Winterton join us as members of the Health Fair Committee to tell us more about this year's fantastic event. So we welcome you here, Dr. Thank Wright, Jeff, thanks for being with us. Health Fair, uh, you know, I, I'm afraid to say I, I've actually never been to the Health Fair here in Uinta County. What exactly is it? How long has it been going on? Well, uh, the Health Fair, uh, I've been in uh, the community for about a 12 years and it's been going on at least that long I think five or six years before that as well okay. and once a year and it's usually in the springtime as it is this year we get uh, uh, a group of uh, providers together that have health related uh, products or services that get to showcase uh, to the community okay so you you're talking about uh, doctors dentists chiropractors yeah, and uh, it, it'll it'll go down even to health like health food people who have uh, exercise related kind of businesses, uh, medical uh, services that people that provide like wheelchairs and, okay. and different different things like that. And then you know people we've had over the years people that you know sell or running shoes or okay. uh, things like that. It's it the there is a wide variety, right? Yeah. Anything that could be health related. And you're the the chair of this fair. I am. You're the man in charge. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yes. You're the one that we can all point to if something goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like, if, if I'm not mistaken, it's kind of like when you go down to Salt Lake and you go to the, the Southtown Expo area and you go like to a gun show or something where you got booths and things set up except for it's all really localized. It's people from around here. That's exactly right. Now, we, uh, the great majority of the people or the vendors that, that participate uh, here are local. We do have occasionally people come from the Wasatch Front as well. Okay. Um, we've had over the years uh, uh, different people come out from different insurance companies that obviously aren't based here and, and there have been different people through the years but the majority are from the Una Basin. And so is it technically a, a free event? Anybody can come? What, what kind of people should be interested in this? Yes, this is. And, and there actually are a lot of different things that we do to encourage or entice people to come and be a participant. But it is free to the community. Um, and there are uh, uh, a lot of participants over the years that have come to, uh, you know, they're interested in something specific or they're just interested in seeing what's going on, what's the commotion, what's all this advertising been about. Um, you find that um, people make choices about their their, their health care that maybe they've never made before just simply because they've seen something they've never seen? Absolutely. I, I, I know my me particularly and what I do as an orthodontist, we've met a lot of patients through events such as this. And I know with a hospital and the things that they've done with some of the different screenings that they provide, um, I, I'm sure that uh, generates a lot of interest and has kind of helped people understand some of their, you know, health needs. Is this just a, a one-day event? It is. Uh -huh. This event uh, runs from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. It's on uh, Saturday, May 7th, upcoming, okay. and uh, it, it's, it's, it's quick and fast, but it's very informative, and it's been uh, really, I think, a nice thing for the community. Uh, your, your participants, your, your vendors and, and other healthcare providers in the area, um, do you see that uh, they've been pretty responsive, pretty willing to be a part of this? Uh, I mean, I guess if you're talking about the general percentage of, of how many local providers get involved, uh, is it a good turnout? I, I think so. It's been, it's varied from year to year, mm -hmm. obviously, um, but uh, there are um, a lot of different health related things like I said before that are represented here and so mm -hmm. there's a good cross section um, percentage wise you know uh, I, I, I I've I, kind of put you on the spot there I apologize yeah it's a little it's a little difficult <laughs> as far as knowing you know what the percentages are but yeah there's I would say just overall there's a really good cross section of different things oh good and and uh, besides just you know the local dentists and doctors and chiropractors and, and health care providers we've got uh, some events and we'll we'll get to that in a second because we got to get Jeff to talk here he's been <laughs> silent the whole time so stay just with like, us hey Bill's the know-it-all when it comes <laughs> to health care <laughs> well we're going to get to you just in just a second so after a brief message from Ashley Regional Medical Center we'll talk more about everything you can do at the health fair we'll see you then 
Ashley Regional Medical Center now offers neonatal services and a level 2 nursery along with our quality obstetrical services. The Level 2 Nursery provides state-of-the-art monitoring and clinical care for infants at 32 weeks and older. The team of skilled nurses, pediatricians, and family practice physicians, along with medical director Dr. Daniel Kwok, neonatologist, help Ashley Regional Medical Center offer your infant excellent care right here at home. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us today on Local Point. The health fair is coming up and we have the inside scoop as what's going to happen. And I think uh, we should probably turn over to Jeff since he didn't have a whole lot to say last time. <laughs> he usually does though. <laughs> Trust me. Um, first of all, I think something very important that people need to know who have attended the health fair in the past. We're not at the same place we used to be. We've changed venues. Correct. Uh, this year we're going to be at the community center okay uh and we're actually as as well as our race is going to switch venues as well normally that's over at the naples splash park but yeah we're going to be at the community center the race is going to start there at eight o'clock in the morning okay and we're going to take off uh around the block there for our 5k where, where is the, where has the venue been s until now normally it's been at the western park okay. the ice arena there okay so if you if you want to run or you want to participate don't go to western park go to the community center Brand new, beautiful building, 500 South. Yes. 500 West. Yeah, we'll just be right, right out in front of the community center for the 5K. That's going to start early that morning. You check ins at seven o'clock, and okay. then the race starts at eight o'clock. So we got a, a, a bunch of people who are going to run. A 5K again is like three and a half miles ish. 3.1. Okay, a little, so, little less. Yeah, last year. I like year. to run further <laughs> just for fun of it. And people can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, last year we had over 170 people. So. And do they just show up or do we need to pre register or anything like that? You can pre register at okay. the community center uh, or online. And then we do have people that come day of race registration, but that's a little bit more expensive too. Oh, so. Okay, so if you want to save your bucks, yep. pre register. Yeah, so it's $10 right now and then 15 on the uh, May 7th. Okay, 10 so. and 15. So obviously, because this is a health fair, but we have a race, there's more than just uh, specific health related from the health providers in the, the area. What else are we talking about? We got a race? So yeah, we, we view health with a lot of other things as mm -hmm. well as, yeah, racing, obviously the fitness aspect sure. of it. We also have emergency preparedness. Um, there's safety issues. We're gonna have the, the fire departments bringing their fire engines. We have police that are be doing um, seat belt checks. Okay. Um, they also are bringing that, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called, the vehicle that they, they simulate a crash and see what it's like. The crash car. <laughs> That's my name yeah, for it. it. <laughs> so we're gonna have some simulation of crashes. Now seat belt checks, is that just checking the, whether or not your seat belt's in your car? Well, I think it's, uh, they're doing, it's the car seat. Right. Oh, kids seat yeah, belts. Yeah, kids, okay. kids seat belts. So yeah. definitely bring your kids to this as well. And that's definitely. in conjunction with the Tri-County Health Department. Is This is a kind of a combined with the uh, health fair where they do their Safe Kids Fair. And they do, they've yes. got like a seat, 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 seat belt check for the okay. children and different uh, things. They've got like a bike rodeo. They've got... Oh, Smoky Bear, they've got the impaired goggles. Have you yeah. ever put those on Makes before? Makes it look like you're, uh, oh, I feel yeah. like this is what it looks like if you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. inebriated a little bit. <laughs> there, there's going to be, uh, I understand, the helicopter? The, yeah. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, Classic Lifeguard's coming, and they're bringing their helicopter and landing it in the field behind oh, that's the cool. uh, community center. So should be fun. <laughs> we probably should talk about the prizes that we're going to be offering as well. Hold we on. are going to have a lot of prizes. Do so. you have to run the race to get a prize? Well, we the, the race will have their own prizes. So if you run the race, you'll be automatically entered into that raffle. Okay. But then all the around, there'll be a grand prize. And that's for everyone who goes around to the different booths. We'll have a, a question that you have to find out the answer to. Okay. And then if you turn that in, everyone who turns that in, they get entered into the grand prize drawing, which is for an Xbox with a Connect. And, uh, wow! Not the old Xbox, not the old uh, 360. Xbox, 360 mm -hmm. Xbox with, with the with Connect, Connect and with uh, a game, Just Dance, I think is what we went with. Mm -hmm. oh, so, which is actually a, a pretty good fitness game. Yeah, uh, at least that's what my wife says. Keeps not, you going. Not me at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, it makes you sweat a lot. Okay, so you uh, you come. There's there's no fee for being involved in the fair and going to the booth, though. No, there are some there are some things that are uh, charged for. Okay. Um, Ashley Valley Regional uh, Medical Center is doing some free osteoporosis screenings. Okay. There are some discounted cholesterol screenings, uh, discounted PSA and TSH tests that, that can be done as well. Okay. So there are some things that, that you could expect to sure. pay for some services, but for the most part, the drawings, um, everything, you can register for those for, for free. So Nice. Yeah. A whole lot to experience, whether you're old or young. Uh, again, May 7th. 
Saturday, May 7th, that is correct? That's right. At, from what time in the morning? From 9 o'clock until 1 p.m. 9 o'clock until 1 p.m. at the Community Center in Vernal, Utah. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Appreciate you coming down here to Local Point. We we'll hope to see you there. Thank you very at much. At the Health Fair. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us. Join us again next week on Local Point.